Okay, let's look at this acids and bases question from November 2017. We're going to need the pH formula. We don't need the iron constant formula. And we're going to need all of these general chemistry formulas. So let's have a look here. A learner dissolves ammonium chloride crystals in water and measures the pH of the solution. Define the term hydrolysis of a salt. Hydrolysis, hydrolysis of a salt is the reaction of a salt with water. Okay, remember that hydrolysis is generally a reaction of something with water, and here it's specifically the reaction of a salt with water. Will the pH of the solution be greater than, less than, or equal to 7? Write a relevant equation to support your answer. So now remember here, you can either remember in your head that this is an acidic salt, or you can have a look at what happens when we add water to this. This ammonium ion, if we add water to it, it loses this extra hydrogen as a proton. Remember that ammonium ion's got a dative covalent bond to a proton and it then produces a proton and if you produce a proton you are an acid. So this is an acid so the pH is smaller than because it's an acidic pH okay and then you're supposed to provide a reaction a re relevant equation to support your answer here is the relevant equation because this is really a nuisance to type in. So here's my ammonium ion plus water. Hydrolysis of a salt is the reaction of a salt with water. My ammonium ion plus water gives me ammonia and a proton. And the moment we've got a proton in solution or a hydronium ion in solution, we have an acid. Now it says to you, a sulfuric acid solution is prepared by dissolving 7.35 grams of sulfuric acid liquid, this means it's concentrated, in 500 cubic centimeters of water. Calculate the number of moles of sulfuric acid present in this solution. So if we're going to do this, we're going to need the relative molecular mass of sulfuric acid, because look, we've got a mass. So let's find the relative molecular mass of sulfuric acid. Oh my goodness, that's not what I wanted to write there. This chemistry formula thing, it's not friendly. Okay, so the relative molecular mass of sulfuric acid is 2 for the hydrogens, 2 for the hydrogens, plus uh, what's sulfur? Did you look on your periodic table? 32 plus 16 times 4, and if you get out your calculator, you should get 98. Okay, so if we want to calculate the moles of sulfuric acid present in the solution, we're going to use this formula, N equals M over M. Okay, so the N of sulfuric acid is going to be M over M. Make sure that you... Um, uh, write the formula every time. You never know when they're going to give you a mark for it. Although in this one I don't think they're going to because look it's only two marks. So 7,35 divided by 98 and this is going to give me 0 0,075 moles. Okay so this is the number of moles of sulfuric acid in the very beginning when we dissolved it. Okay, now it says to you, sodium hydroxide pellets are added to the 500 cubic centimeter sulfuric acid solution. The balanced equation for the reaction is wada 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 wada. After completing the reaction, the pH of the solution was found to be 1,3. Assume complete ionization of the sulfuric acid. Now people, beware, polyprotic acid. One mole of sulfuric acid is going to give you two moles of hydronium ions. So let's go ahead and use this pH to calculate the concentration of hydronium ions, but remember that this is a polyprotic acid. So if we get this formula here and start using it, okay, pH equals this, this, what, what. 
1.3 equals minus the log of the concentration of what, what, what. So the concentration of protons is going to be shift log minus 1.3, 0 0.05, moles per cubic decimeter. Okay, so that's the concentration of protons. But remember, 1 mole H2SO4 is equivalent to 2 moles of protons okay so how many mole how many uh, the, we, we're going to do this with concentration okay we're going to do this with the concentration value it works for the number of moles and for the concentration because they're both per cubic decimeter so we can get the concentration of the sulfuric acid from the concentration of the protons so this is going to be half of what that is so this is going to be 0, 0,501 divided by 2, okay, will be equivalent to the 0, 0,501. Because remember, we've just found this concentration of hydronium ions. So the concentration of hydronium ions, there's 2 moles of hydronium ions to 1 mole of acid. So we divide 0, 0,501 divided by 2, and we get 0, 0,021 moles Per cubic decimeter of sulfuric acid okay so that's going to be the concentration of the sulfuric acid which is different from the concentration of the hydronium ions due to polyprotic acid so we found the concentration of this and now we know from the reaction one mole of this is reacting with two moles of that so what we actually need to find out now, if we've got this concentration, is we need to find out how many moles of acid we've got, okay? We use the pH to find the concentration, but in actual fact, we need to find out how many moles of acid we've got left, which is what we're getting from this um, reaction here. So we're going to use C equals N over V, or N equals CV, okay? So N equals... CV and this is for the sulfuric acid so the number of moles of sulfuric acid is going to be the 0, 0,051 times the volume 500 cubic centimeters which is 0, 0,5 cubic decimeters okay so calculator I've got 0, 0,0125. Now this is 0, 0,0125 excess H2SO4. Okay, that's how much excess we had. So how much actually reacted? To find out how much reacted, we have to take the initial, which was this. Remember, we calculated it from the very beginning because I told you what the mass was. And now we're going to take away what um, what's left to find the reacted, so this is 0, 0,075 minus 0, 0,0125 and I've got 0, 0,062625 moles, that's how many moles of sulfuric acid reacted, okay? So now we have to go again and we have to use the mole ratio, okay? mole ratio of from the balanced equation is one sulfuric acid to two sodium hydroxide okay it's one h2so4 is to two naoh where did it get that from Okay, so then this is going to be 0, 0,625 and this is going to be 0, 0,625 times 2, which is going to equal to 0, 0,125 
moles of sodium hydroxide. And if we've got that many moles of sodium hydroxide, we can find, yes, they want the mass. Calculate the mass. So the mass of sodium hydroxide is going to be Nm. So the mass of sodium hydroxide is going to be 0, 0,125 multiplied by the relative molecular mass of sodium hydroxide. I'm going to put in the bracket here. 23 for the sodium, 16 for the oxygen, 1 for the hydrogen. So that's 40. So the mass of sodium hydroxide, let's work it out on our calculator. 0, 0,125 times 40. I've got 4,997, which equals 5,0 grams. And that is your final answer.